This may look like a typical vending machine, but the founders of the Farmer's Fridge would rather you think of it as the smallest restaurant in America. It takes up just 1.3 square metres of space, and instead of candy bars and sodas, it's stocked with wholesome dishes. The idea actually came from our founder, Luke, who was a um, travelling salesman in the Midwest and was really struggling to find healthy food that he wanted to eat. Um, so he came up with the idea of using a vending machine um, to stock fresh items in, so that it could be more convenient for people but also for affordability. The Chicago-based company first launched in 2013 and now has more than 400 vending machines across the Mid-East and East Coast in airports, universities, offices, hospitals and even retail spaces. The machines are stocked every day with chef-prepared food. Options range from Greek yogurt and granola bowls to salads, wraps and snacks. Everything is priced under $10. Last year, Farmer's Fridge hit a bump in the road with New York City's health department. It decided to regulate vending machines that sell fresh foods, and Farmer's Fridge had to shut down its machines for a few weeks. Now each machine requires a permit and regular inspections, like a restaurant. But the founders insist there's no need for concern about freshness. Technology allows us to be really efficient at what we do, so we have a predictive algorithm that really helps us manage our inventory. So. By using the algorithm, we can see what is in fridges, what needs to be made, what we need to make. Um, it helps us really minimize waste and also deliver the best customer experience. The smart fridge also ensures that if an item has been sitting there too long, it gets locked inside so people can't purchase it. Farmer's Fridge estimates it only has around 5% food waste per machine, and those dishes are donated to local food pantries. Demand for quick and convenient food on the go is rising. There's nearly 4 million vending machines across the US, according to the National Automatic Merchandising Association. And every day, around 40 million Americans buy something from one of them. The one challenge facing Farmer's Fridge is changing people's perceptions about vending machines. So you have a hurdle associated with getting over the perception of food that you've always gotten out of vending machines that almost by definition has not been healthy. So I think that's the first thing. Um, I don't know whether that might also be connected in people's minds about whether it will be fresh, how long has it been there, is it safe? I, I think there are just some other concerns. Farmer's Fridge is not the only company hoping to change people's perceptions. New York-based Fresh Bowl has a similar model. It uses sales data to stock its machines with fresh food it expects to sell that day. It launched in 2019 and aims to have 50 vending machines by the end of this year. California startup Chowbotics has more than 100 salad assembling machines and plans to put hundreds more in the marketplace this year. It's also demonstrating consumers have a hunger for healthy, quick options. I think it's great. I really do because it's very convenient and it's reasonable. I don't know, it's fresh food, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, the, the taste is very good. so. I like it. Keeps me from going outside to buy a salad. It looks very fresh. Uh, time will tell, right? Farmer's Fridge has raised around $60 million from investors and says its revenue growth has doubled every year since it started, proving that convenience and counting calories can fatten the bottom line. Jay Barker for TRT World in New York.